This week on Take This House and Sell It, a beautifully restored Victorian home for sale is trumped by peach paint, parrots, and cluttered places. Could these problematic peas be putting the pinch on buyer's purse strings? There's a lot of collectibles. <laughs> we said I moved a lot so of stuff true. before the open so house. True. Guilty. <laughs> to restore their Victorian home along with their adult son, Ron, who hasn't left yet. Now with mom and dad planning a new life of leisure and travel, it's time for everybody to pack up all of those and those and that too. So buyers can see all of this. In the next 48 hours, our neat and tidy design team is going to feel the pinch of using a moderate budget. They'll attempt to get this potentially peachy paradise ready for its last chance open house as we try to take this house and sell it. The home is very dated. It's peach decor back in the 1980s. They added a beautiful sunroom in the back, but it doesn't fit with the Victorian style of the home. Paint. Look at the peach. Dude, dude. It's very 80s. <laughs> it's like the inside of a piece of gum. Oh my gosh, there's a fireplace here. I didn't oh. even notice that before. It's so cluttered. It just doesn't feel inviting when you walk in. Look at it. It's just got so much stuff. Oh wow, look at this backsplash. It's so 80s. Oh my goodness, look at this paneling. Does it ever close the room in? It makes it look very dark. Very dark. Well, if you only see the house through what's in it, then that's a lost cause. You have to see the house through your own mind. People always see things through their own mind. The problem in this case is their mind keeps telling them this house is packed with ugly. Whoa, 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 a Victorian. It's about time I got lucky. Let's see what else besides wooey woo woo passed through Glenn's mind when he got inside this beautiful Victorian for his survey earlier that day. Ugh, passion for peach. Oh, please. He picked all the colors. Peach and pink. Oh, this furniture, this furniture. I actually like the furniture. There's just too much of it. I just got to come up with a plan for it. It was basically a, a set. The two wing chairs and this went together in the showroom. That's an interesting way to do a mantle. I collect angels and actually declutter. There was more there. Plastic plants. <coughs> I just love the smell of plastic flowers. So somebody doesn't have a green thumb. Interesting window treatment for a donut shop, maybe. I guess in the 80s, they were the end thing to buy for windows. Oh, sweetheart, turn your head. You don't have to look at that. I'll go somewhere, I like something, I buy it, and then I run around the house and try to find a spot for it. This has been here for the longest while. I think this is the only place in the house right now where there's wallpaper. Oh, metallic strawberry wallpaper with flowers. But we have constantly been updating. The kitchen was updated. I was looking for actually this color red and I sent Ron to get some paint and it came back that color. <laughs> it was not the color on the chip. Girls and boys, we've got red backsplash, brown countertop, cream cabinets, gray floor, brown cabinets, and red walls. Something doesn't belong in here. More phony flowers. This room gets a lot of usage. I don't get this. We've gone from a Victorian to a... Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well. I'm, I'm Glenn. I'm Victor. Nice to meet and this you. This is my wife, Maria. Maria. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Oh, nice to meet you. So fabulous facade of the house. Thank you very much. Beautiful Victorian, wonderful details. The problem is inside. Inside. Well, hold, hold, hold. Hello. My name is Ron. This Hi, is Ron. Nice to meet you. Uh, pleasure, pleasure. This is our son. Hi. Uh, just by the way, though, normally what we do is we just go through the house with the homeowners, just the yeah. two of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That would be me as well. But, but I've invested a lot of time into this house as well, so I think I should be part of it. 
before I get started, I do want to pass on a compliment. I think that the house has been meticulously restored, but ridiculously decorated. Who's responsible? Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm the guilty. I'm the guilty person here. Look at the color, Victor. What are you doing with this color? I'm still trying to get used to it. When After did... six years. You put it on six years ago? I thought it was like 26 years ago. They didn't make this color, only in the 80s. Hmm. Well, it, it's you found great. a can. It's the you 80s. found a can. I think I'm the only one who likes it. What's with the window coverings? We put that there so we don't hide the stained glass. It belongs in an office. Who's the collector? I am. There's a lot of collectibles. <laughs> I said I moved a lot so of stuff true. before they opened so house. True. Guilty. So here in the hallway, what do you think's wrong with it? Pink wallpaper. That's one. Well, Too many the wallpaper, plates. yeah. Two. A little small to start with and dark. The glass doors. There was no closet space here before. A curtain would be better than those. <laughs> so what was the plan with the kitchen? I wanted it to match the tiles, the yes. red, but it didn't turn out that way when we bought the paint. You've got so many different finishes. I think that's, that's why it's a little conflicting. Furthermore, you have all of these little things on the walls filling every possible nook and cranny. Who does that? It's so. me. I think that looks great there. Okay, kids. We're in a room off the kitchen, and I'm yes. guessing that it was added, correct? Yes, yes. What was your inspiration? Well, you notice it's, it's quite different from the kitchen. And this is the lower end, because you want it to be a sun room. Okay. And sun equates bright colors and birds. Maria. Listen, but at least the walls are not pink. <laughs> you know, I've fought to get <laughs> yellow <laughs> walls instead of pink. That's a towel wrapped up no, in a No, that's not me. Excuse me. That is my, my trip to, to, to so Rio. It does not in match. In Ipanema, so I couldn't afford to buy a big oil painting. So we bought the towels, you know, the same uh. downstairs. <laughs> I put a frame on it. It's not art. It's it travel it's trash. A, it's a photograph. Of I have beach. to agree with Glenn. So that's agree. art. I have to agree. It's a piece of, it may be trash art, but it's I art. I have to agree. <laughs> as far as changing the colors, that's not a problem. A few gallons of paint, a few hours, colors change. So people should be able to see that, but they don't. Coming up, will Glenn see eye to eye with our very tall homeowner on the issue of painting his sunroom's beloved cedar? At night, there's such a beautiful glow coming off of here. It's really, really nice. dream to help sell this carefully renovated Victorian home quickly turned into a tropical nightmare as soon as he opened the front door to find a mishmash of vibrant paint colors, a cacophony of collectibles, and this hideous wallpaper impeding a sale. With all of these peculiar problems and only 48 hours to fix them, it's high time our trades laced up for duty. There's general contractor Frank and his helpful handyman Nick, our very pleasant painter Jenny, and the beautiful seamstress Patricia. Patricia, I need you to do a little reupholstery. Jenny, I need you to take away the peach on that main floor. What with all the work Victor the homeowner has invested in his home, Frank and Nick are going to have an easy time of it. But Jenny and Patricia are not. A little reupholstering? Yeah, right, Glenn. You also forgot to tell Jenny that the peculiar paint runs all the way to the third floor. Glenn! Glenn! Glenn Dixon! <laughs> The house is too big, so we're downsizing, we're moving to a condo, and hopefully everything is going to work out okay. That's good, I'm moving too. You are? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, it's you know. really nice when the kids are gone, right? Oh, it certainly is. You know, we have one kid, but you know, he's a handful in it. <laughs> <laughs> Time for him to go? Time for him to go. So, for those of you who don't recognize him, that was Joe, the professional painter. And this is Patricia, the pillow stasher. It's nice to see our trades know how to help themselves out to get the job done. So, you guys put these tiles in, eh? Yeah, about 26 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. With one handy kit? Uh, yeah, I may have been handing my dad the tiles, but maybe not doing it myself. If you want to just start smashing them. 
You want to smash them, but don't break that drywall. These homeowners were thorough with the sticky stuff. All right, one tile down. About 43 more to go. I'm really attracted to the cedar. At night, there's such a beautiful glow coming off of here. It's really, really nice. And I would rather keep it than not. You are moving. So, yeah. like, what do you care? <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose I should not care. But how do you know that what you put in here will be acceptable to the people coming in and not this? Well, you see, Victor, nothing is for sure. But Glenn is a designer, and he does feel strongly that cedar doesn't sell. <laughs> and neither does peach, pink, or parrots. Hopefully covering up old mistakes will help convince our homeowner that he doesn't know best. Is this a primer or is this the actual <laughs> color going to go here? I don't know. What do you mean? Holy smokes. You said you had it and now you don't have it. What's going on? Well, I found this counter, the only supplier that said they had it to match the desk. And where is it? It's not here. It's not here. They don't have it now. They don't have it. I can't live with the red. Coming up, Glenn has a building supply situation that needs a fast solution. But who can help? What have you been doing? What have I been doing? was thrilled to have a beautifully revived Victorian home this week. It's about time I got lucky. But then he noticed it was covered in a not-so-thrilling peach and pink paint, which was beginning to fade under Jenny's roller, just when the replacement for the red desktop under the stairs left Glenn seeing red, literally, and the other way, too. With only one day left before a last-chance open house, it's time for Glenn's peak at all the progress. Good. Looks like we got some packing yeah, done. Yeah, we did lots of work. It's all packed up and ready to go. Wow. What a difference. Ew, peach. Peach. Why do I still see peach? I'm getting rid of it. I had three floors of peach to get rid of. Well, you've got this floor to do, so hurry up. <sighs> yes, sir. Now, Victor. Yes, I've got a project for you. Because we've painted the hallway yeah. in this beautiful, creamy taupe, mm -hmm. we now have to remove that garish wall. Where's the wallpaper? Hey, I got, I got rid of it. You said it was horrid. So, out it goes. Oh, that's amazing. We're ahead of schedule now. Well, that's enthusiasm for you, right? I guess all of the successful painting in the hallway has mellowed Victor's opinions about painting the cedar white. After all, it's day two and he hasn't said a word. Let's see if he stays mum while Glenn gets rid of some of his favorite furniture. Okay, I want the two Berger chairs gone. Sayonara china cabinet. Well, where's Maria going to keep her collectibles now? In the new condo. Now, right. what do you notice in the room now? There's a lot more space. Exactly. And you notice the beautiful details. Victor, you gotta have faith that designer Glenn knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, you gotta have faith. Hey, does George Michael know we have this song? We're going from this bright tropical print to... Fresh white. Are you going to put something on it? Like, some color? I'm not really into too much color. Have faith, Maria. It's spreading around here, and things are looking better. You see that you're moving because you want your son out? That's uh, part of the reason, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we have to get him out. It's been too long. Yeah. How old is he? 37. Oh, baby, we are all behind you, you poor, poor, overworked mom. Unfortunately, Maria is also slated for our DIY on account of her taste in floral arrangements. I know you have a passion for plastic flowers. Uh, silk flowers, please. Anyway, I have a great solution for your home. Real flowers with real color and real aroma, and it will just bring life to your home. The first step when working with flowers and foliage is to make sure that you cut all the stems as soon as you get the beautiful flowers home. Make sure the flowers are stored in a bucket of warm water while you tend to your arrangements. Once the flowers have adjusted to their new home, remove any leaves that might be below the waterline. 
With narrow neck containers, first weave the flowers in your fingers the way you want them to appear in the container. When using a wide opening container, place strips of transparent tape over the opening in a grip pattern. This will hold the stems upright, and the completed arrangement will hide the tape. Don't forget to change the water every day or when it looks cloudy. So there you have it. Spectacular arrangements, perfect for your home. They're beautiful, and they're real. They're real! <laughs> And just like that. Oh, that seems easy enough. Yeah, you just got to be careful with the angle. Okay. The angle? Yeah, when you put the door in, it's... Could you show me with the other one or the other Oh, ones? I see what you're doing here. Yeah. You're going to make me do all the work, no, eh? No, 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 I just, I just want to see where the angle is. Oh, Victor, what a hoot. And his son, the tall galoot. Well, I guess he's cute, but while I'm rhyming here, I agree with his mum. He needs the boot. Sure hope this home sells. Well, goodbye wood. How's your father feeling about this? Uh, I think uh, 26 years, it's time for change. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. How's it going? What's with you? I'm just hanging out with the tall people. <laughs> and behold, the desk. Yay! I've got very reliable suppliers. Okay, Glenn, so it's all up to you now. Oh, it'll be finished and fabulous. Now, is that a promise? I promise. Now, Ron, yes. this might be a good opportunity for you to pick up the classifieds and find a place to live away from Mommy and Daddy. Yes, you're right, Glenn. Coming up, how will our homeowners react when the peach is gone? Oh, oh, the peach is gone. The peach is gone, the clutter has been packed away, and Frank has almost solved the situation under the staircase. With a last chance open house fast approaching, there's only time for a final push and the big reveal for our mostly tall homeowners. Homeowners are gone, we're not done. We're almost done, one more screw and we're done. Really? Yes, sir. Okay. Jenny, it's showtime. It is. Welcome Hi. back. Hi. Good nice to, to see, see you. you. Nice to see you again, Glenn. Nice to see you. Hey, Glenn, and how you doing? you're still here. Yes, I am. Anyway, we've done a tremendous amount of work inside, so I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Come on. Perfect. Okay. And here's your new kitchen. Oh, <laughs> wow. So subdued, you know. Everything is so subdued. A kitchen with mismatched surfaces and clutter beyond compare was given a proper overhaul designed to lay bare the amazing selling features it already had. A neutral almond color provides the base palette for this new and oh-so-chic shiny backsplash. These green-striped cotton Romans highlight the home's beautiful windows, while giving Glenn his favorite accent color to play with here and there around the countertop. Last but certainly not least, Frank's fix to the built-in desk provides the continuity and surfaces Glenn always wanted for this now very fabulous kitchen. You have put the right flesh on the bones we had. You got it. <laughs> and on that note, let's go see some more bone. And welcome to your new family room. Wow. <laughs> A cedar paradise for parrots and tropical things was painted over to help show this space for what it is, a gorgeous and welcoming sunroom. Glenn shows a spring fresh feeling for the walls that coordinates well with the kitchen's main colors. Our homeowner's furniture is now much cooler under white cotton twill slip covers. Glenn finished his design with this illuminating table lamp and the only fake plants or florals he permits in the form of pictures. I was wrong about the cedar and the vanish. What was that? I was wrong about the cedar and the vanish. This is really nice. Lift up your eyes and look at your new living room. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh, goodness. Peach is gone. 
this packed peach of a living room flowing into an overstuffed peach of a dining room was transformed with an eye for simplicity, style, and way less stuff. A neutral soft suede paint is now in perfect harmony with the golden tones of our homeowner's couch, where Patricia's silk and woven throw pillows add luxury and comfort too. New but traditional plaid and silk window dressings update the Victorian style of the home, as does this contemporary artwork, which also appears in both the living and dining areas. By minimizing the homeowner's furniture and placing it just so, the new arrangement creates the grand feeling this stunning architecture has always deserved. Congratulations. Oh, you thank, you very very much. Much. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Matt, you did a wonderful job. Thanks. Great, great. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. They got rid of all the clutter. It just feels so comfortable in here. It looks like a brand new kitchen. I love the paint. Look at it. It's so soothing. Wow, that's neat. <laughs> Oh, this is now something that you'd like to relax in. I love the fact that they painted all the wood here. It's so open. Look at the color. It's so beautiful and warm. I didn't even notice the fireplace before. Look at the space they have in here now. Mm. It's incredible, the transformation. The rooms are bigger. They're wider. It's brighter. The sunroom is absolutely amazing. Taking years of collectibles, poor paint choices, and packed movables away to help a home say buy me takes a moderate budget. Specifically, we spent $935 on accessories and area rugs, $966 on building supplies and lighting. Paint to cover peach and pink cost $290, while upholstering, fabrics, and window treatments totaled $920. We spent $342 on flowers and food, and on account of all the pieces packed in, not a dime on furniture. For a grand total of $3,453. Designer Glenn pounced prematurely on this Victorian home, expecting an easy fix, but found a pound of problems instead. Now after 48 hours and loads of designer love, people are finally appreciating this proud Victorian as a potential home to live in and love. For more information, visit wnetwork.com slash take this house.